All right, all right, we back. It's your boy, boy. We back with another podcast. Give it up for your host. All right, man, we got we got a few stories, man. We got the uh, the Aiden Ross getting his ass into some street shit that he ain't supposed to be in. We got uh, the newest OV Ho is home. Um, he's talking big shit on the internet right now. Um, and we got the big the big tragic hurricane that came through and, and tore up most of the Southeast. So um, let's just go on and get into it, man. Let's get the goofy shit out of the way first, bro. Aiden Ross. So apparently uh, Aiden Ross hopped on a podcast with DJ Academics and uh, Top 5. I guess he's uh, Drake's shooter. Men and May, baby. So, um, yeah, we had um top five. He, he was popping shit. Um, he said he want to see Kendrick. He want to see Metro booming, and then um, and of and of course, in true troll fashion, academics talking about what's what you gonna do when you see him? What you gonna do when you see him? I'm gonna slap him. I'm gonna fight him. I just want to fight him. I'm gonna knock his ass out. My man I just got out of jail for fucking killing a kid. Um. And the kid wasn't even a street dude, you know what I'm saying? So you roll down on somebody that that probably just made you look like a dumbass, you know what I'm saying? And, and you capped him, you know what I'm saying? And and he spent a lot of time in jail. And, of course, yeah, he holding a lot of loyalty towards Drake because Drake put a lot of money on his books and shit when he was uh in there enough for like 30 years, you know what I'm saying, if he, if he was in there that long. So the man uh, was well taken care of while he was in jail. But when he got out, you know what I'm saying, the first thing he did was, and I think he's a little behind on the times because the shit that he's doing, it seems like some shit from like early fucking maybe 2018, 17 type behavior. And, and the man, it's a different world now, bro. You, you getting out talking about, what you gonna do to niggas? Um, you talking about Canada's a no fly zone for certain motherfuckers, and y'all gotta come to America to make this money. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you excommunicating Americans from your, you know what I'm saying, from the country that you c- coming from, that's not gonna be good when you cross that state border. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta understand. It ain't just going to be Cali looking for you, bro. It's going to be every motherfucking goon from every state that feel like you disrespected the states. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, uh, of course, Aiden Ross was on that bitch trolling. Um, he was with it. He was having a good time. Academics got damn egging the beef up to the max as much as he can possible. And then all of a sudden, the, the goons started coming out. And they started coming at them boys, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was basically goddamn one of um Kendrick's affiliates. Uh, he a podcaster, and um, he told him, bro, like, nigga, Aiden Ross, you you can't come back to L.A., bro, talking all that shit about Kendrick and shit. You know what I'm saying? They even had a clip of them playing "Not Like Us" in the um club, and and Aiden Ross acting like the shit, just fucking killing him in the inside. To even hear the song, and bro, choosing sides. Is one thing, but like putting yourself into some real street shit, like he don't really understand that. Of course, it was entertainment at first when them boys first started going at each other. This record against this record, boom, boom, boom. But of course, you know, as the disc records progressed, shit got personal. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick let it be known, I want this nigga to die. I don't give a fuck about his life. You know what I'm saying? So. Rich white kids that got money that's out in the world mingling with these fucking gangsters. Sit the fuck, sit that shit out, bro. Like, don't choose no sides. Do your part as a podcaster. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's easy. To, you can be a podcaster and you could speak on subjects and not get yourself involved in street politics. You know what I'm saying? Because whether you know it or not, man, you you don't know what kind of ties these folks got. You know what I'm saying? And then the guy. Top five ain't making it no better because he was bigging the shit up like, yes, I'm here now and motherfuckers going to have to pay. If they come across Canada, they're going to get killed and all this shit. And it's like, damn, listen, bro. <laughs> and now and then, I, and then you know, there's videos of these motherfuckers playing damage control. You know what I'm saying? They're really trying to like backpedal on all the shit that they said. And in the interview, old boy said, ain't no rebuttals, nigga. Ain't no backpedaling. 
None of that shit. You're going to have to stand on what you said. You're going to have to stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, don't get involved in street politics, bro, if you're not from the streets, bro. If you ain't about that shit, if you ain't going to get down and dirty with them boys, because you got to think about it, bro. There are some people that's fucking dying. Over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is getting clapped, killed over just talking. You know what I'm saying? Or being associated with the wrong motherfuckers. And you associating yourself with somebody that's that's about to have beef with a whole coast. And you be on said coast a lot. You know what I'm saying? You got people that you fuck with that's on the coast and then he called up one of his partners um i can't even think of this motherfucking name but he said you're good in la man i walked down Melrose place butt nigga and i'm like Melrose place compton watts long beach goddamn and, and many other cities in california that i ain't too particular with because i'm not from the bay i'm not from cali goddamn i don't know anything about cali outside of what i see on tv or listening to on music you know what i'm saying i got family over there that that that's doing their thing, but I've never been. So, you know what I'm saying? The street politics is a lot different over there than it is over here. And you're a big name, you know what I'm saying? Of course, getting at you is going to blow somebody up. And they ain't got to necessarily kill you, bro. Like, And I honestly think they wouldn't kill you, bro. They ain't going to fucking murder your ass. But they're going to beat the shit out you. They're going to teach you a fucking lesson about stepping into street politics, goddamn. Because the same folks who you riding for ain't going to ride for you. That top five nigga, he ain't gonna come to LA and back you up when some shit get headed. You know, heated. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers gonna be laughing at your ass in Canada, goddamn, cause you chose to join some shit that you don't know shit about. You know what I'm saying? And 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 this, this the scary fucking part, bro. The, the motherfucker that y'all talking about the most ain't uttered a fucking word. He ain't put out a tweet, a Instagram post. A Facebook shit, he ain't said anything about any of this shit that's going on other than the fact that he got a performance at the Super Bowl and he would like, like all of y'all to come. So shit, going, shit getting real in these streets, man. And the top five dude really need to kind of like chill out. I mean, for one, the nigga talked too fucking much for one, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Um, He immediately got out and thanked Drake for paying all his uh lawyer fees. Then had to go back and take Drake Drake name out of the post. Apparently that shit didn't sit well with the OVO camp. Like now you can't be putting Drake Drake can't be connected to your murdering ass. Get take his name out the post. So my man had to redo the post and take that shit down and repost it. You know what I'm saying? And it just <laughs> this shit is so fucking funny to me, bro. Uh, this rap shit is just getting real fucking crazy, goddamn. And and it ain't even about. It, it, it's it's getting out of hand, you know what I'm saying? And and somebody is going to get fucked up over that shit, sad to say, goddamn. But uh, a lot of that jaw jacking and shit, um, stunting on the cell phone and, and making posts and live videos, it's almost on some 6 9 type trolling type shit, you know what I'm saying? And that shit went away when he did, you know what I'm saying? That shit didn't end well for him. It ain't going to end well for nobody, you know what I mean? So, um, I really think motherfuckers need to watch their mouth. And if you ain't into the street politics, you need to kind of like file back and just play, play it in the middle, man. If you want to interview these dudes, just interview them, but don't play instigator and then play victim when shit get real. Uh, he made the little sob sorry ass video talking about he ain't into it with LA, but he's still standing on fuck those particular guys that said something about them, and you never know how much love those guys got from that city, you know what I'm saying, and you still saying fuck them. So basically your apology was half, half-assed half anyway, so niggas ain't going to respect that shit, and niggas ain't going to goddamn ride with that shit, you know what I'm saying, they're going to come get at your ass if need be. Um, Yeah, but that, that's, that's the whole Aiden Ross <laughs> top five, fucking academics bullshit man and even academics trying to play damage control because i think um i think once the sh once it was all said and done i think he kind of realized that he took shit a little too far you know what i mean um he took shit a little too far with interviewing the dude and asking him all those questions about what he gonna do when he sees certain people and shit that's just straight instigating man you just that that shit and then you 
I don't know, man. Niggas, niggas weird. Niggas is weird as fuck. The shit is dumb as fuck. And when the shit get real, motherfuckers want to play victim and try to apologize. And I didn't mean it that way. And I'm sorry. And I'm not, I don't, I don't hate the whole LA and all this shit. Whoop, whoop and all that. Nah, man, you got to stand on that shit, bro. You got to stand on that shit. And if I was them, I'd probably stay the fuck out of LA for a little bit until this shit blow over because somebody going to try to make a name for themselves. Point blank, period. Somebody going to get out there and, and try to stand up for Kendrick. And make a name for themselves, and something bad gonna happen, and then it's gonna be a whole nother, another can of worms just got opened up. You know what I mean? So with that being said, stay out of street politics, watch your mouth, and if you ain't about that shit, don't act like you about that shit. Boom. Let's get on to some serious news. Uh, Hurricane Helena came through, bro. And listen, I stay in Alabama, right? I stay in Alabama. And at first, the way the storm was looking, it looked like it was going to come up through, like, half of Alabama and half of Georgia. And keep straight, that shit veered all the way through Georgia. It hit every county in Georgia, bro. And um, it went up to South Carolina and North Carolina, Tennessee, dams breaking, towns washed the fucking way. You know what I mean? Um, And not only that, Hurricane Joyce is building up speed in the, in the ocean right now. And it's coming through the exact same fucking path. So a lot of folks, um, they saying it's millions without power. Um, it's over a thousand people missing. 80 to 100 confirmed dead. Um, kids, animals, goddamn wildlife. Um, they saying that the um, land has been permanently changed um, by the storm. The whole look of the land. There was once a town bustling. Looked like a fucking um, flooded field, goddamn. It, it looked like a wasteland out there, bro. Um, they saying these people probably won't have power for months. You Can you think about that, bro? Uh, there's no power for months, bro. Um, I ain't going to lie. I've been watching a lot of TikToks, and there's a lot of people out there that really do know how to survive. They out there grilling. You know what I'm saying? They, um, they don't have any way to keep food fresh. You know what I'm saying? A lot of folks cut off from leaving towns that they were in because the bridges are gone. They can't cross the water. Um, they Help can't get in. Um, they losing cell phone service. They don't have internet. They don't have shit. You know what I'm saying? And they just fuck. Um, I got family in Georgia right now. Um, I, I haven't gotten any calls about them being too fucked up. But um, I, my little cousin did post about her backyard. Shit look like a fucking lake, bro. Um... Yeah, man, we we barely missed that shit by a hair, bro. And the way that the ocean is acting right now, man, it's, it's like the ocean is fucking pissed, bro. That shit is swirling and, and doing all kind of weird shit that it don't normally do. And I know we in peak hurricane season, but, um, yeah, man, a lot of folks is fucked up right now, bro. Um, and I, I even saw some people um, even bragging about they want more shit to come and, and wipe out these sundown towns and shit. Basically, it's a lot of rural towns, like in the mountains, you know, towns where people of my complexion ain't really too welcome. And um, a lot of folks is even talking bad. Listen, bro, at this point, it, it's a natural disaster. It's a it's a national tragedy. It, just show a little respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what goes around comes around. We can't can't um can't be bragging about some shit happening to some motherfuckers even if they did something to us bro you know what i'm saying you got to kind of like have a little compassion for that shit because i couldn't imagine waking up in my house and car and it's floating the fucking way everything that i work hard for is is gone you know what i'm saying there's no saving it um gotta start back from ground fucking zero you know what i'm saying it's just a it's a it's a fucked up situation bro uh, enough to make you just really want to give up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm looking at this shit and uh, they can't get in because uh, there's power lines down. Uh, live wires everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You can't really drive through certain parts because you risk fucking yourself up. All the electric cars, uh, they just found out that them don't mix with water. Um, yeah, those Teslas and shit, uh, they catching fire immediately as soon as water hit them. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Uh, maybe they should waterproof the electric cars going forward. Um, it's a crazy situation, man. And um, like I said, there's there's more hurricanes ramping up in the ocean right now. And um, 
it's like non-stop beat down with that shit. You know what I mean? And um, look, these folks ain't going to be able to bounce back. Uh, it's only so many places they'll be able to go. Um, they probably got family that won't let them crash. You know what I'm saying? Some people just like that. And it's just getting crazy. I got a cousin that's in Florida. I, I, I checked on them the day that the storm was hitting. And I need to check on him again, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure him and his folks good. Uh, normally, if something was off, he'd have hit me up and told me everything was fucked up. But nine times out of ten, he pretty much good, goddamn. Um, but I check on my cuz D-Lo and a few, man, see how they doing. But, yeah, man, it, it, it's, it is crazy, bro. Um, we got a supply chain issue at the moment. Um, since all the bridges to most of these cities is – uh can't get in, can't get out, truckers can't drive on the roads right now, there won't be a lot of goods coming to the southeast like that. Um, we will probably see price increases, uh, shortages on certain shit. Um, it's, it's, it's finna get bad, bro. And um, October 1st, um, if y'all ain't heard, there is a strike going on at the ports. And um, like they said, um, maybe one day of that strike, if they take off for one day, that'll put the Americans back seven days on goods that we need to um, sustain our households and our lifestyles. And, um, yeah, man, imagine if they go on strike for like a month. What if they don't come to a conclusion for like a year? You know what I'm saying, bro? We talking about empty stores, you know what I'm saying? Um, no gas to get back and forth where you need to go to. Shit getting crazy. Uh, shit getting crazy, bro. Um. If you ain't looking at any of this shit, man, y'all might want to look at it. I know news is boring, blah, 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 whoop, whoop. Um, I hate watching the fucking news. But if I see something that catch my eye and it's going to, you know, I, I, I manage a restaurant, bro, and we already we already seeing stuff that's going to be short um, on our trucks coming this week. Uh, and, and it's probably going to get a lot worse as the week goes on. You know what I mean? Um yeah, man. So uh, if I was y'all, I'd hit the stores and stock up on a bunch of non-perishables, get you some batteries and shit, because storm season is just ramping up. It ain't over at all. You feel me? So with that being said, that's, that's, I don't know, man. I don't know. The world is uh going crazy. And with the addition to a mini moon next to our original moon, um, a lot of folks are wondering how how's that going to affect the uh, cause you know, passing through an object, passing through whatever, has minor effects on what happens on Earth. But you know, the moon is is the whole reason that the tides are doing what they do and all that stuff. Um, and with another moon just stationary in our orbit and not going anywhere no time soon, what are the long term effects of um? How can I say this? What are the long term effects of like um, the tides, the water and shit like that? You know what I'm saying? What is that going to do for our oceans, our climate and shit like that? Only time I tell, you know what I'm saying? Um, Dave is still talking about the fucking massive object that's on a direct course with us. You know what I'm saying? A cube shaped object. You know what I'm saying? And this is life is goddamn then got too fucking real, bro. This shit to turn into a fucking uh Michael Bay fucking movie or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, listen, y'all, just be aware of what's going on in the world. We got a lot of crazy shit happening. Um, the UN done walked out on a <laughs> during a meeting, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't come to an agreement, so that's the beginning stages of a World War Three type scenario. It's just, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just here to keep folks informed. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody got to keep keep everybody ear to the street. And uh, it's just me along with thousands of others that's doing the same thing that I'm doing, just trying to keep people aware. And um, not every time it's a cash grab or trying to go viral or trying to do no weird shit like that. Sometimes it's just genuine concern get, getting folks out there. Any of my people, the small amount of people that I do got to come to my channel and watch what I do. Um, at least y'all are informed and y'all got an outlet to go look for this shit that is happening in the world. Because a lot of folks don't care. A lot of folks, uh, you know, they're still trying to go to the club. You know what I'm saying? Still trying to go on vacations. 
still trying to do shit for themselves and ain't really worried about what's going on around them. Wrong mindset to have because shit could get real in an instant and you never know what the fuck could go down. But um, with that being said, this is your boy, Born Reaper. I just had to drop y'all a little nugget today. Like always, we dropping every Monday morning. Comes fuck with your boy. We out.